Tonight, advanced surveillance technology helps track down two men wanted in crimes across three counties, including these two men we first showed you yesterday on News 4 at 6, wanted for robbing someone at gunpoint on MTSU's campus. News 4's Edward Birch is live in Bell Mead tonight. Edward, police there actually help connect the dots. And Tom, the reason why is because of cameras like the one right behind me that are mounted on telephone poles strategically placed all around Bell Mead. These cameras capture the suspects following a woman to her home. Bell Mead police say that this technology is a game changer and is helping solve crimes in neighboring communities. I've been in law enforcement for 36 years. And this is absolutely one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Detective Tommy Sexton says on January 7th, a Bellmead woman was driving home, followed by two men. So that is the suspect vehicle leaving the, the scene of, of the Bellmead incident. That woman ended up protecting herself from becoming a victim. She hit the horn button on her uh, key fob and they decided to run and get back in the car. However, these two men continued on their spree and it eventually caught up with them. Police say the two men, Nigel Ramsey and Gregory Falls, robbed a family at gunpoint on Kenner Avenue. Two days after that, both Falls and Ramsey are arrested by Hendersonville police charged with stealing a car, theft, and possessing a gun. After reviewing the footage, Bellmead police learned the two men were also wanted in a series of robberies at MTSU's campus on January 4th. They just don't do one robbery and stop. Falls and Ramsey confessed to the crimes. This is a good example of technology and teamwork. Now the video from these cameras can only be used in an investigation. They can also determine who's at fault if there's a crash at any of these intersections that have these cameras. And Bellamy police tell me that in fact this is really helping those neighboring communities and that most of the crimes that are uh, solved using this technology happen in neighboring communities, about 95% of them. Tom and Tracy. Good information tonight, Edward. Thanks.